see Terry Darrell of Corpus Mail, Gita Fiaria, Terry Cotton of the Known Hagen Aguero, Nijo Media, Prodas, Caritas Posse and Death, Living as Caritas Known and Relator, Known as Victor Perra, Known in Plato, Known as Ambiciosa, Known Claire Equate and Suicide, Known Irritator, Known Cogitant Malam, Known Gaudet, Super Inimitate, Known Gaudet, Elton Veritate, Known Mia Super, Known Mia Credit, Known Mia Spera, Known Mia Sustina, Caritas Known Clinic, Sire, Sire Propitiae, Evacuo Luthor, Sire Lingue, Cesabum, Sire Scientia, Destruitor, Ex parte in cognoscimum, sed ex parte profetamus, cum autem venerum pro perfectum est, evacuabit your progen parte est. Cum est in parvulus, loque varo parvulus, sapievam parvulus, codicavam parvulus. Quando autem placis un vir, evacuabit er, quae erans parvuli, idenus sum per nunc per ex speculam, Milegnimate, nunc autem facie ad facia, nunc cagnosco est parte, nunc autem cagnoscam, sicur et comitus sum, nunc autem amanet fides pes caritas, triahe, maior autem morum pes caritas. Suas Deus, qui facis mervilius sonus, del contitius in gentibus virtu tentura, Liberasti in Brachio, Pio Popolo, Pio Pio Israel, et Pio Sera. Diviate de omnes terra servite de omnes notizia, de trate in transpertueus in exemplazione, in tote corrin domus subsilius Deus, et se petit nos in non insignos, nos autem populus Deus et pal populus pascue Deus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Today is uh, Quinquagesima Sunday, which means that uh, Wednesday is uh, Ash Wednesday. 
So I do hope that some of you brought some palms in. If you didn't, maybe you can bring them in uh, tomorrow uh, that they might get burnt so we have ashes uh, for the ash Wednesday. Then. Ash Wednesday is uh, not a holy day of obligation, so uh, it's a work day. So if you work, you work on that day. That's fine. You can get the ashes on the following uh, uh, Sunday. So there'll be two masses here on Ash Wednesday in the morning at 6:30 and in the evening at 6. And Father Chazelle is also now he's got another priest. There was a priest ordained uh, in Brazil, uh, Filipino, I believe he is. Uh, he spent about the last year in Brazil because he had to get uh, he did the seminary in in uh, Cebu in the Philippines but he had to get uh, all the orders so you don't do all the orders in one day you know, and then, uh, uh, the minor orders and then the major orders and there's supposed to be some time in between because you're supposed to exercise the one order uh, before you get the next orders so they do the they usually do the minor orders two together but otherwise then you have to exercise those orders you have to in other words do something with that order then you get the next order and then so you got to be a subdeacon uh, and then you got to uh, do what a subdeacon does serve as a subdeacon in a mass probably and then some other time get ordained deacon and then, uh, and then uh, get ordained priest so anyway he spent about a year in brazil uh, where the bishop is and he's got all his uh, orders now and he was ordained priest just uh, i think february 11th so not too long ago uh, and, uh, so now father chazelle has uh, a couple of priests to help him and then um, uh, well, another thing is, uh, uh, you know, the, the Head for the Hills project. Uh, I'm trying to move faster on that now. We're ready to uh, do something on it. So we've we've, uh, we've looked at several places, but they've all been unsatisfactory, except for one, and that one somebody else bought before we bought it. So uh, that's what happens. Uh, so we're still uh, trying to find a satisfactory uh, place. So please pray, pray for that intention, and. Uh, I, I said that I wanted to be a long day's drive from uh, Brisbane, uh, uh, you know, in the country. Uh, but now uh, it's been suggested I could be a, a long day's drive from Brisbane and a long day's drive from Sydney if I went somewhere in New South Wales. But, uh, so uh, that's another another possibility. Uh, but uh, right now we're looking in uh, more closely in Banana Shire, uh, which is about six. Uh, 100 kilometers north of here, so but it is uh, has the advantage of uh, having cheap uh, uh, land and cheap homes uh, and housing blocks and stuff like this. So that's uh, an advantage out there. That, uh, up here. So keep praying for that intention that we can find something uh, satisfactory and move on that. Unfortunately, we had to switch it to a low mass today because I, I don't have much time before a flight. So. Uh, I'm going to Melbourne uh, <coughs> the epistle for today is from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians <coughs> brethren if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal and if I should have prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge and if I should have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And if I should distribute all my goods to feed the poor, and if I should deliver my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity is patient, is kind, charity envieth not, Char dealeth not perversely, is not puffed up, is not ambitious, seeketh not her own, is not provoked to anger, thinketh no evil, Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices with the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never falleth away, whether prophecies shall be made void, or tongues shall cease, or knowledge shall be destroyed. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away the things of a child. We see now through a glass in a dark manner, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even as I am known. 
and not to remain faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Please stand for reading the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, Jesus took him into the, uh, took unto him the twelve and said to them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things shall be accomplished which were written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man. For he shall be delivered to the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and scourged, and spit upon. And after they have scourged him, they will put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things, and this word was hid from them. And they understood not the things that were said. Now it came to pass, when he drew nigh to Jericho, that a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard the multitude passing by, he asked what this meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And he cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And they that went before rebuked him, and that he should hold his peace. But he cried out much more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus standing, commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, Lord, that I may see. And Jesus said to him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he saw and followed him, glorifying God and all the people. When they saw, and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, quick with Jason, but we're getting ready for Lent. Uh, the fast uh, starts uh, on Wednesday. We have to remember that. Uh, so, Wednesday is a day of fast and abstinence. Uh, that means no, no meat and uh, only the one main meal on uh, Wednesday. And then, uh, uh, the next 40 days, the 40 weekdays, uh, that's Monday to Saturday every week, are fast days. And the Fridays are abstinence days. So fast days uh, for the adults. For those over, traditional rules over 21, you've had to uh, observe uh, the fast until you were uh, 69 or something like that. Some, somewhere there's an upper limit where you're not obliged anymore. Uh, but uh, and there is a, the, the fast is for uh, those people. You can continue to fast even when you reach the upper limit. You don't have to say, well, uh, I'm going to retire from the fast now. You can keep that up if you, uh, there's no, uh, it's not mandatory that you uh, stop fasting. Continue the Lenten fast because the Lenten fast is good. 40 days is the number of fasting, and fasting is one of the three chief penances uh, that the, the church uh, tells us uh, that we do to remove <coughs> sin and to take away sin. And so the penances are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. So, uh, and during Lent, uh, uh, the church wants us to pray. But the conciliar church doesn't really have a fast anymore uh, because uh, well, they don't believe in uh, they have the Protestant notion uh, that we're all going to heaven anyway, and we don't need to do penance uh, for our sin. So uh, that's uh, the false notion, of course, and so we need to do also penance for those who don't do penance. So we have to do penance for these poor people in the conciliar church who uh, maybe don't do penance, maybe some of them still do penance, but we have to do penance for them uh, as well. So there's much uh, reasons and opportunity to do penance, so the adults should keep the fast. So what about the children? Well, children give up things for Lent then. So they're not, they're, the, the church doesn't want you little children uh, fasting uh, because you have to grow and get big and strong. So once, once you're big and strong, then you can start fasting. So uh, the little children, you shouldn't fast. So instead, you have to uh, give up things uh, uh, and, uh, and, um, and uh, deny yourself, uh, make sacrifices. So give up sweets or give up chocolates or give up eating between meals that's a that's a good sacrifice and uh, do things like that uh, or uh, give up uh, playing a, a, a game and say an extra decade of the rosary say instead of playing i'll say an extra decade of the rosary here and uh, go find a place to say a rosary like uh, francisco did and like saint dominic Savio did and like all the little saints did see they did that and say an extra decade of the rosary or Voluntarily help your mother. Go in and, uh, you know, 
you see something that needs to be done and you know how to do it, well, uh, just go voluntarily do it. That's uh, something you can do and say, I'm doing this for our Lord, and I'm doing it for my mother, and I'm doing it for our Lord. So uh, these are things that you uh, children can do uh, during Lent, and you should try to have a good Lent uh, by, by doing many, many little uh, sacrifices uh, for uh, our Lord. But the adults should make the effort to keep the fast. And actually the new law is uh, uh, that you have to fast from 18 instead of 21. So when they lowered the age of majority from 21 to 18, they lowered also the age of the fast. So uh, uh, we will try to keep that fast. So today in the Gospel, our Lord talks uh, about His suffering and His passion and what He's going to have to suffer. And He tells the apostles this, and they understand nothing. Understand nothing. You think it's pretty plain. The Lord says, "I'm going to be turned over. I'm going to be condemned and turned over to uh, turned over to the um, the Romans, and they're going to scourge me and uh, and this." And you think, well, if He says they're going to scourge me, you think you would understand that? Okay, uh, they do have scourgings there. So He shall be delivered to Gentiles and shall be mocked and scourged and spit upon, and after they have scourged him, they will put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things. Well, rising again they might not understand, because that would have been a new phenomenon in the world. Uh, but these other things they would have seen before. They would have been seen people scourged and mocked and spat upon. And, and now it's going to happen uh, to our Lord. And yet they understand nothing, uh, because uh, uh, their eyes are not open yet to uh, the true gospel. So like the blind man, they are also blind, and sometimes we can have blind spots in our mind where we simply cannot believe something, we cannot accept something. And this is what the apostles had, they, had, they couldn't believe that our Lord, when this, these things would happen to him, uh, he who worked miracles, he who raised Lazarus from the dead, he who cured the sick and uh, just had his word, calmed the storm, did all these uh, wonderful and great things, and preached all these beautiful truths, and now to say that this is going to happen to him. And they had a blind spot in their mind. They were, they were blind yet to the true faith. Uh, they, they were still at a blind spot there and they were will, unwilling to accept that this could possibly happen. And, uh, and when it did happen, uh, they, they went into shock. You know, they, they still couldn't accept that it had happened and, uh, when it did happen. So they had this blind spot in their mind. Uh, for the truth of the passion of our Lord, for the suffering, for the cross that he was going to carry. And, uh, but they didn't cry out uh, to our Lord like this blind man that they met later, Lord, that I might see. Uh, and he gave that man his sight. They didn't say, Lord, ma make us understand this. We don't understand. Help us to understand. They didn't say that to him. And so he didn't help them to understand. And so they, they stayed in their confusion. They stayed with this blind spot in their mind. And it's only much later when they got the grace to, to believe this. And so often, you know, today there's a danger of us having a blind spot in our mind that we can't believe the church, which is holy. Uh, it's a mark of the church. The church is necessarily holy. It must be holy. Uh, it cannot be holy. It cannot be. If it's, not, if it's not holy, then it's not the Catholic church. It must be holy. And we have so many unholy leaders. Uh, we have so many uh, men uh, leading the church, uh, popes and bishops, uh, the pope and the bishops that are not holy. And they're obviously not holy. And they're, not, they're not ashamed of not being holy. And uh, they put their uh, uh, unholiness, some of them, not all of them, of course, some probably maybe are holy, but many of them are not. And they put their unholiness out in front and uh, are proud of it almost. And uh, uh, proud of these things. And so we have to say no. Uh, the church is holy, it's necessarily holy, and we have to uh, believe that, even though right now maybe we cannot understand it. We, uh, we don't understand this mystery of iniquity, just as the apostles can understand this mystery. Well, we don't understand the mystery that's happening now, uh, that the church has been so infiltrated uh, by uh, evil men that they've taken it over. And so we have to say yes. Uh, we don't want to have a, a blind spot and say this cannot happen because it actually has happened. And so we have to accept that it happened and not try to find a false solution. Not try to find a false solution, which some people try to find a false solution to this problem then. They say, well, the, the church has uh, disappeared. And we know 
it's, a, it's in the catechism that the church is indefectible. And the church cannot disappear. The church will be as our Lord established it until the end of time. It exists till the end of time. It cannot be squashed. The gates of hell will not prevail against it. Now it appears that the gates of hell have prevailed against it to, to us today by appearances, so that's why we can't judge by appearances. We have to judge just justice and say no, the gates of hell have not uh, uh, prevailed over the church. Uh, they have not, and they will again be brought into subjection. So uh, we have to have this confidence and we have to uh, pray that as long as this uh, uh, mystery goes on and we uh, uh, don't be uh, falling by the wayside, falling by uh, false prophets. So many false prophets will arise as forecast false prophets, uh, teaching us a false solution to this problem. And that's what the false prophets are doing. They're teaching false pro solutions to this problem. And so we have to say, no, you're a false prophet. I'm not going to uh, go the way that you are leading. So we want to just uh, uh, be patient. And, uh, and, and, and pray and do what Our Lady asks, try to do what Our Lady asks, and try to uh, and keep the faith and, uh, and try to uh, become holy ourselves, because uh, the Holy Church has to have holy members, so uh, we, we could say to ourselves, well, why couldn't I be one of those holy members, uh, and then uh, make an effort to become holy, uh, and that would be a part of the solution then. So, yeah, the, more, the more holy members the Church has, uh, well, and then the, uh, more, more, more overcome the gates of hell that are uh, attacking it very seriously now. So let's uh, have confidence in our Lord and our Lady and do ourselves, try to do what we can, and uh, especially by denying ourselves our sins and our habitual sins, our bad habits, trying to overcome our bad habits, our, our vices, and say, no, I'm going to deny myself these things. Uh, in order to help uh, uh, the church, to make the church a, a holier place, and to make the church a, a place that uh, can uh, again become triumphant, <coughs> and have a great triumph uh, in, in the world that our lady wants it to have, and uh, that it will have when uh, all her uh, requests are uh, accomplished. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
Omnia secula seculorum, Dominus Bobitum, Sursum Corda, Fratris Egamus Domino Deo Nostro, Veri Dignitis Domeste, Cuna Salutari Nosti, Vicente Rivique, Gracias Ajure, Domini Sancti Patri, Omnipotente Terni Deo, Ducumuni Genito Filio Tua, Spiritus Sancto, Unis Est Deo, Unis Est Dominus, non munio singularitate personae sed munio spiritate substantiae quod eidem de tua gloria revelante te perimus hoque filio tuo hoque spiritus sancto sine sine differentia discretionis sentimus in confessione veri sempiterni quae veritate non in personas proprietas in essentia unitas in maiestate adoratori qualitas quod nauda tangere acler tangere quic cherubim quoque ac seraphim we know just on Tamari for TDA and a boat check each other. Sons, 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 sons,
Dr. Vestry, only for the next day, I said to Mr. Picker, 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 I said to
Dedicat vos omnipo against Deus, Pater, and Filius, and Spiritus Sancti. Dominus Tobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Luana. In principi arat verbum et verbum erat apud Deum et Deus erat verbum. O carat in principi apud Deum omnia terpsum factus sum sine ipso factum est nido pul factum est. In ipso vita, ad vitra ad lux homem et lux in tenebris luce de tenebrium non comprehenderum. Fui homo misus ad Deo, cui nominat erat Giovannes. Hic feinit in testimonium ut testimonium per aberat illumine et omnes pregarum per ludum. Non erat illi lux et in testimonium per aberat illumine et erat lux per aquae illuminat omnum hominum venientum et nuclum dum. In mundo erat, in mundus persum factus est, in mundus eum non tragnovit. In propria venit et suia in non recia perum. Procur autem recia perum deum de deis potestatum filios dei fieri. Is qui credo te nomine eus, qui non ex sanguinibus, ne qui ex voluntate carnis, ne qui ex voluntate viri, sed ex deo natissimo. Ad verbum carmo factum est, ed habitatum in nobis et vidimus gloria meus, gloria in quas in eternitia parte, per in gratia et veritatis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Amen. Ave 
Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tuum, Lieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tuum, Lieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Peace of the Jesus, but not to salve. Ave Maria, All right, most days for food, gym, no sooner, beer, juice, popular, mate, comante, propitious, rest, good, jack. Energy, and the glory, all set, and mark, life, a virgin, a day, and future, and Maria, and be out of your city, you sponsor. Actually, as apostles, to his paper, and follow, and to the sanctus, plus, proper, mercy, and executorum. Early, for that, and exaltation, and sancti, matris, ecclesia, precious, and formulous, misery, chorus, beneath, and dowdy, carrying, and Christum, domin, and nomus, bro. Amen. Sanctum et Archons, Lady Penedos and Pradio, Contra Quitsen, Sidias, Diablo, Esco, Presidio. Impera Duli Deo, Sipitra De Precamor, Tupre Princes Militia Celeste, Sat Maliosque Spiritus Malignos. Good Prince and Lone Marm, Per Vera Gantra, Mundo Divina, Vertute, and Chernum De Trulia. Amen. Cor Jesus Sacratus. Cor Jesus Sacratus. Cor Jesus Sacratus.
Oh, 